Are you having trouble installing Windows 98 on your personal computer? You're an idiot, and we're here to help you. Hi, I'm Sheldon with Nostalgia Now, and in today's video, we're going to be showing you how to install Windows 98. I like to use this bar, but since we don't want to promote underage drinking, we're going to use this table with a generic background instead. Alright, now it's time to set up your workspace if it hasn't been already. We're using this latest model Sony Vio with a Pentium 3 microprocessor and more RAM than my self-esteem. This unit also contains a three and a quarter inch floppy drive and a CD player for all your hip music needs. Make sure you have a copy of Windows 98 on hand. If you don't, please try and obtain one through your local Circuit City or through the black market. We don't condone the black market. Please go to your local Circuit City. All right, now insert the floppy disk into the system. Make sure it is off, then turn the system on. Rapidly press your BIOS button. For us, it's F2. Your luck may vary, as much as your taste in women. Upon inserting the BIOS, try and find something that has to do with the floppy disk drive. I, I, I really don't know what I'm doing here, but uh, ours just kind of works, so that's your problem. The system will now boot from the floppy disk drive. All right, you should see a screen like this. If you have a CD drive, select Enter on option one. If you don't have a CD drive, select enter on option 2. Option 3 is if you need help, but that's why you're watching this video, so don't hit that, please. We have a CD drive, so we're going to hit enter on option 1. Much. I just saw you cold. Um, yeah, I might be able. Actually, I might be busy in the. It might be easier if I could do opening, possibly. Do you have plans later? Okay. What So it has a max battery, max, and it's okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, yep. Yeah, uh, okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. We have a max screen, a max battery. If you're looking for the specifics on the system, a max mobility, all-in-one design, iLink IEEE one three nine four interface. Uh, only Sony combines maximum screen. I really don't care about any of that kind of stuff, but um, I don't know if they uh, do anything on here.
Okay, so this is actually our specifications right here. We have an Intel Pentium 3 processor running at 450 megahertz, 64 megabytes of SD RAM expendable to 256 megabytes max, 6.0 gigabyte hard drive, 13 inch SVGA HPA screen. This screen is awful. High capacity lithium ion battery, dual screen capability, 6.5 pounds, light 1.8 inch thin. Yeah, that's really nice. Uh, all in one design with a floppy drive, hard disk drive, and a CD ROM drive, like we pointed out earlier. I'm not reading that stupid stuff again. NTC SC video out, uh, integrated VI90 56K modem with the three thing on there, like the math stuff we always hated. Uh, three programmable power keys, PPK, 256 graphics card, trip thing, built in stereo speakers. They sound awful. 24X Max CD ROM drive in Microsoft Word 2000. That's probably an illegal copy right there. That's in the shot, hold on. I'll just go and put this so nobody can see it. Alright, All right, congratulations. Hopefully you got something out of that tutorial and Windows 98 most likely is running perfectly dandy on your personal system. If you're having any issues, feel free to send me a fax or some form of email. You can even send me a letter. I do accept letters. So thank you guys very much again for the, watching this tutorial and make sure to check out some of my other VHS tapes.